Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing, kind of, with the thousands of True School Sports and subscribers. What's going on, guys? Now, it's 2017, so if I haven't said 20, Happy New Year to you guys out there, Happy New Year to all my subscribers and anybody who may view be viewing this video who's never seen me before. Happy New Year to you. Hope everything goes well for you and yourself and your family, and just God bless you guys. Anyway, so Happy New Year. But we're going to kick off the year, and we're going to talk about um, a very hot topic, not just in boxing circles, but combat sports and sports at large. We're going to talk about Ronda Rousey. You know, she had her fight with uh, Amanda Nunez, uh, was the first title defense for Amanda Nunez, and she got destroyed. A co potentially career ending beatdown of Ronda Rousey. I believe she got knocked out on 48 seconds. I might have to go recheck that on Instagram pay per view because that's how short it was. But look. I'm making this video because Ronda Rousey in her, in, at, um, at her peak, you know, the media hyped her up a lot. Um, people in the streets hyped her up a lot to the point where Ring Magazine, the Bible of boxing, allegedly, Ring Magazine made her the first woman to ever grace their cover, uh, I believe it was last year. So, with that being said, you gotta really think about that. All, all the talented women's boxers we've had, Ann Wolf, Clarissa Shields, uh, Layla Ali, very marketable females. And you look, you look at a girl like Sinise Estrada, who's had a good amateur career, you know, very beautiful um, woman, equally talented. She didn't get in the cover of the magazine. You know, there's a lot of girls that deserve that spot. Holly Holm, you know, beat Ronda Rousey. She didn't get in the cover. So, with that being said, Ronda Rousey was, propped, was used by a lot of people. Particularly MMA fans who, for whatever reason, had to always pick up beef with boxing as a, as a means of, hey, look, this is the baddest female on the planet. And, 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 and boxing is this and boxing is that. Boxing has now handed Ronda Rousey not one, but two of her most devastating losses of her career. I believe her only two losses of her career are a byproduct of her opponent's superior boxing skills. And it's hilarious because... You know, I would watch videos of Ronda Rousey, you know, shadow boxing, and she didn't really have a lot of fundamentals. And I told people that. I was telling them, I remember, well, I actually really remember watching a Ronda Rousey video when she fought, before she fought Holly Holm, and she's in the gym somewhere in Santa Monica, and she's, she's shadow boxing. And I'm like, man, her, she got no head movement, no fundamentals, no skills. As far as a boxer, I'm sure she's a great judo, whatever she does, she's good at that. But. As far as the boxer, she had the skills. People that said, "Oh, BT, you're hating. What do you know about mixed martial arts?" I'm like, "Look, I don't know. I really don't know a lot about mixed martial arts. I have a lot. I have a service knowledge of the UFC. But as far as this boxing game goes, I know. I know my fair share of boxing, and I know fundamentals when I see them. And I know fundamentals when I don't see them. And she didn't have them, and they got exposed, exposed to the tent, to the millionth degree when she fought Holly Holm, who was a world champion boxer." Pillow punching world champion boxer, boxer, but because she's wearing them four ounce UFC gloves, you know Holly Holm can go in there and look like Mike Tyson or White Tyson, as, as I should say, because she was in there. She was hit, she was hit, hit Ron Rousey with some hitting and her and Ron Rousey with some big shots. And you saw this chick Nunez, you know, going in there throwing you know pretty solid looking punches in comparison to most UFC fighters I've seen, and using boxing skills to beat Ron Rousey. So I just find it hilarious how what was one the person that was once used. Uh, by many people, not just in my everyday life, but just by mixed MMA fans in general, as a way to discredit the art of boxing, um, I just find it hilarious. And look, guys, uh, for those of you out there who may be watching this video who are, are MMA fans and think that Conor McGregor would come into boxing and beat Floyd Mayweather, I'm telling you right now, I'm not even a big Floyd fan. In fact, many of you, many of my subscribers will tell you that I don't like Floyd Mayweather, but I have no questions about it, that if Floyd fights Conor McGregor, particularly in boxing, he will destroy him, okay, destroy, Conor McGregor was getting pieced up and sparred by Chris Van Heerden, no way in hell he, he, he even hurts Floyd Mayweather in a boxing match, let alone beat him, so it is what it is, man, I'm just speaking on, you know, Ronda Rousey's defeat because it's a hot topic, but more so from the standpoint of a boxing fan who has seen many people in the world, many people in the combat sports, well, beyond just boxing, use Ronda Rousey as a means to discredit the art of boxing. So, boxing wins. Ronda Rousey is 0-2 against elite level boxing. So, there you have it, guys. Just want to get my thoughts out there, but you guys can let me know what you guys what you think in the comments down below. You know, Ronda Rousey was the first woman to get on Ring Magazine, so I'm just 
you know, she was she was supposed to be she was supposed to dominate MMA and take over boxing. So I'm, I, I was just holding her to the standard that Ring Magazine set and that a lot of the MMA fans set. But nope, got exposed. And imagine if she fought like Clarissa Shields or Christina Hammer or one of these like top level women's boxers, she, she needs to She would have got destroyed even worse, worse. So, you know, it is what it is. You know, hopefully she has she's she, you know she got a paycheck. She has a speedy recovery, but. Don't ever disrespect the art of boxing again and use Ronda Rousey as a means and a speaking point to do that because that's ridiculous. Anyway, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. Take the time to subscribe and you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just a kid from Daniel. So until next time, take care, guys.